Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys? Before I get going, I just want to mention I do singles readings on Monday. For those of you looking for uh, singles a love reading, you can check that out in my playlist every Monday. Um, and also for all you people who are asking about the cards I'm using and where to get them, I put a link below the video in the description. It's kind of down at the bottom because I keep adding things. All right, so just scroll down and you can find that information. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you. Overall energy surrounding Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Clear messages and guidance. Clarity for Sag. There we go. Okay, we have the devil energy. We have the Page of Wands. And we have an Emperor. Ooh. Interesting. Somebody's leveling up here. Somebody here has been kind of focusing on themselves here. It has to do with something that's very unhealthy. Okay. Something they were focused on was not good. So I feel this person's leveling up. Somebody, and I do feel it's somebody who knows what they want, not afraid to go after it. But I feel there was something here with this person. Now, they might have been focused on someone who was younger and not good for them. Um, but I do feel that see this leveling up. The emperor is someone who usually knows what they want, and they definitely go after it. It's also somebody with uh, strong boundaries. So I do feel there's a sense here. Somebody is definitely, uh, they got boundaries. This is somebody who's kind of very guarded, defensive. It could be someone who keeps pushing someone away. Uh, and I actually feel like if you have someone sad who keeps pushing you away and then they come back and it's, it's somebody here is kind of about themselves, but it's something about them is with this devil energy. So I feel like keep doing something. It's kind of toxic. It's kind of unhealthy. And I do think they're looking at it. OK, I feel this person's looking at that energy now. It may have absolutely nothing to do with you. Uh, I see a Capricorn energy. So they could be just obsessed. They may have had an obsession with someone who was younger who kept pushing them away. And we know what happens there uh, at times. But I think this person's moved past it. Now they're pushing this person away. So someone who's got to take their guard down too. They're very guarded, very defensive. Uh, yeah, so I feel like you've got an opportunity. This is somebody who's going to take their guard down. Uh-huh. Interesting energy. And I see the Five of Swords and I see the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel as though you're kind of more focused on your money if that's yourself, okay? So we're going to, you're going to have to flip this who's who. But I got to tell you, this emperor is uh, about to make an offer. Now, this is somebody here who has some kind of habit or something that they do. And there, I see that five of swords. This is an energy of take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And that's what I feel this person's doing. They're leaving someone behind that they can't trust because they keep pushing them away. Now, if that's something to do with yourself, right, it's an energy. Can you trust this? Okay. Now, you're going to focus on that pentacle. Very grounded, very practical, uh, whether or not you see a future with this person. Uh, you're looking at it. You're looking out for yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you, this person does see you as marriage material. Uh, they do. But I, I got a funny feeling this person, there's something to do with this page of wands that they're focused on. Now, I feel like it's someone younger. Um, they had someone younger here that was, uh, or maybe when they were younger, there was something that happened that was very unhealthy. Whatever it is, it's got this person guarded. But I feel they're taking their guard down because they're offering this pan pentacle. Okay, so we're going to see where that grows. We'll grab a few more cards here for Sagittarius. I do see a Capricorn energy. I feel like you're just focused on work, money, career, and finances. You're not actually that focused on this person. I don't know if they've blocked you or um, you blocked this person, but I do feel there's a blockage, and it has to do with something uh, with this person. So, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, money is looking good. You're focused on your money. I feel that's very good here. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And then we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so some Taurus energy. So what I feel is, yeah, something's going in your favor. If you're signing a job contract or negotiating something, that's going to go in your favor. But I do see a cycle ending. Somebody is ending something, okay? And it has to do with the way someone conducts themselves, the way they behave, and it has to do with conditioning, okay? So this is someone who doesn't really follow the status quo, 
Okay, but I feel like whatever it is, it's ending. It's going to go in your favor. If someone sees you as marriage material. They do see you in a favorable light. Uh, I think this person's obsessed with you. I think you're focused on money. Like, I think you're just working, working. It's a workaholic kind of energy. They may be as well. Emperor energy. <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, the emperor could be um, the person who's working, okay? Um, yeah, because I feel there's that end. Yeah, somebody is coming in. You've got someone crazy about you. They want to court you. They want to date you. Why is this page of wands here? Could be someone who's just younger than you as well, okay? This could be someone who's younger or you're the younger person. And there could be an issue there uh, with that. You know, this is someone gaining the strength. And someone didn't lack that. They had lacked the strength and the confidence, uh, I feel, when they were younger. Something happened with this person. But I think there's this courting energy. Now, this is leaning towards a very positive energy. This is someone who feels more confident. I feel somebody is letting their guard down. I do think this person is someone who's leveled up. Um, see what this emperor energy is yeah so look at that Ooh, something from their childhood something that happened in their childhood that made them not lack the strength and the confidence they weren't raised to be confident or strong uh, in themselves feel this person's going to come in and take the action to express something to talk to you uh, this person's definitely crushing okay um, if it's somebody you already know uh, i feel this person they Oh, they're gonna. This person, someone who's. I'm gonna tell you something. What it is. This is the emperor is very logical. This is someone who doesn't really. And again, that higher font. They don't really put that emotional energy out there. Okay, but see how they're coming in. They're coming in with an emotional energy. They're gaining that strength and confidence. They're gonna show you. They're gonna do very sweet things. Okay, they're gonna do nice things for you. So yeah, it's also someone who maybe never had children, or they. I feel they grew up in a home where. There wasn't a whole lot of that kind of energy, hugging and gift giving and, you know, things like that. They're kind of, this person's kind of reminiscing that energy. Aww. So they're guarded, they're defensive. Uh, so I feel this is someone is, I don't know if they pushed you away or you pushed them away, but we're going to get to the bottom of it here. Yeah. So some of you, I do feel there's an energy where you're ending something with someone. Uh, maybe because they won't commit, they're kind of dishonest too. So I see a couple scenarios where you have a new person uh, wanting to date you. Okay, so there is definitely something, um, some kind of strength and confidence. It's about taming the beast. This is someone taming the beast, um, finding the strength and confidence within themselves to share their feelings and emotions. Yeah, there it is. There you go. Some, you got an emperor living up, taming the beast. They're reminiscing about their past. Uh, how they grew up, they're looking at things differently. This is someone being more patient. So they're also learning patience, okay? And they're, this is an energy of someone. This is, this is, you know, they're pulling back. They're seeing you differently. Uh, you're different than their usual type. I think this person's ready for something different. And I see an Aries, a Scorpio, a Taurus energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, Seven of Wands energy. Yeah, so there's definitely a cycle ending. Somebody is ending something with somebody who isn't a good fit. I actually feel someone had a strong attraction to someone who was younger who kept pushing them away and then coming back around. Uh, and I do feel this. There's a couple things going on. I do feel it's someone who is very logical. I feel they're guarded, and it's because of the way they were raised, right? They were raised in a home where you know, there wasn't a lot of gift giving, a lot of love and nurturing and caring. Uh, but they're seeing things different here. They're, so I do feel this person's uh, definitely headed your way. Okay, so I don't know if you know who this is. Uh, but I, yeah, see, this person felt they had luck, felt they weren't good enough. They would never really uh, were raised to be confident. They lacked the confidence in themselves. They felt like they weren't good enough. And I do feel like this person, now it could be that this person's focused on their money, their finance. They've been obsessed with work. Okay, and they're now feeling more financially secure. They're now an emperor. See, in the past, this person felt they weren't good enough. Yeah, and they may have been they may have been someone who treated them that way. Okay. When they were young, they were treated that way. And there was something lacking uh, in their life. Ah. Uh, everybody has issues and things that have happened. Everybody's had some kind of trauma and hurt. Uh, this person's recognizing it, and that's a good thing. They're looking at that energy. So they're tempering the passions, tempering their emotions. Uh, but they were, you know, and I feel like that's what it's happened to them. 
as they felt they weren't good enough. They, there was a lot of lack in their life. So I feel this person lacked the confidence, but I feel they're headed towards you to talk to you or you've ended it with that person and you have something new. Uh, okay, so it's it's one of two. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here for Sag? Yeah, it's a solid, reliable offer. Yeah, so there is definitely this energy of holding back, sleeping on it. I don't. I think you're going to look at it. You're going to look at this offer very carefully. Um, you're not so sure, I feel. You're not sure if you should end this because uh, it has to do with this commitment, okay? Like, I feel like you don't really have a lot of faith in this person. I don't know if they manipulated you and they learned that from a child uh, or it, it's really about taking the things that resonate, leaving the rest behind, and healing and clearing out negative energy, negative patterns, and negative habits, okay? Uh, so someone here that's uh, going through some kind of healing. So they want to offer you this. Oh, yeah, they're having a massive epiphany, towers coming down. This person may even have had a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, something definitely happened. I don't know if something happened to this person, but I'm going to tell you what's coming in is positive energy. Tell me about this five of swords. Yeah, this is somebody who generally wants to win and they kind of go about things in the wrong way. I feel it's something they learned when they were young. I don't know if they were raised with uh, a mother, a father, um, somebody who was in that energy. But this person's crazy about you. And I do feel they had something that was uh, unhealthy. Uh, and I do feel they may have had an unhealthy relationship or just an unhealthy upbringing, period. Uh, but this person's definitely more stable, more reliable. So uh, there's definitely something here with that. This person's coming towards you. Uh, I do think some of you are ending it. I think you're letting it go and you're, you're healing. I do think a lot of you have a new offer, somebody more stable, more reliable. Okay, so uh, it's like I say, it's going to go two different ways, two scenarios. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are just focused on money. Maybe this person made you feel like you weren't good enough. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and the King of Cups. Somebody is leveling up. Oh, you've got someone coming in to tell you they, oh, wow. Uh, we have a power couple here, two people. So I feel like if you've got a new person coming in, it's going to go in your favor. Uh, if you let your guard down, it could be yourself. You may be very guarded. It could be you, you know, the way you were raised. You know, um, there just wasn't a lot of that emotional energy. But I actually feel as though this is so positive because now I see a committed energy. Someone is ready for a commitment. They're emotionally ready. This is someone who feels uh, financially stable, reliable. Somebody maybe, you know, they didn't have a lot of money. They were focused on something here. They were very focused on something. And I feel like you changed your focus. Uh, so this person needed to deal with something. And I feel like you know. Uh, you likely know who that person is. Um, but I do see someone stable and reliable, someone that you can count on. There's an issue of financial stability. Someone's feeling more reliable, stronger, more confident. They're more financially stable. They're ready for love. So someone who plans their whole life sometimes, you know, trying to find the right person before they get married. You know, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, this is definitely beautiful energy. Wheel of Fortune energy, another cycle beginning. Oh, yeah, they're offering you that cup of love. You got something really amazing happening here. Oh, yeah. So some of you have a choice between two people. This is a crossroads. This could be taking things to another level. So I actually feel this person is going to approach you. You probably know who it is if it's getting to that uh, energy. But I do feel the tower is coming down. There's something is healed. Okay, that's the rebuilding. Uh, this person may have even had a little bit of a breakdown or something happened uh, that gave them this realization that uh, they needed to find a good partner, uh, someone stable, okay? Someone they could count on and rely on. They see you that way, King and Queen of Pentacles. Uh, there's love here. There's emotion. This person's ready for a family. Uh, maybe that's what it is. This is someone who's never had children. Uh, maybe we've got a single parent or a couple single parents here. So whatever it is that's ending, it's going towards the positive energy, a cycle ending. Someone's taking their guard down. They're ending a habit, a pattern, something that's healthy, being uh, being guarded, being defensive, pushing someone away. Now, maybe it's because they're younger than you, uh, or maybe they have a young child that they're focused on. Maybe they're focused on it too much, and they need to find a little bit more balance with the temperance, you see. This is an interesting energy. Uh, and I've and I got to tell you, even though it starts off with the devil, 
And it's always not the worst card, believe it or not. Um, there's no card that's all all bad or all good. Um, but when I see it moving like this, this is somebody who's emotionally healthy, emotionally mature, ready for love. Um, they're going to, this is going to go in your favor if you want it, okay? Some of you may be not so sure. You're kind of on the fence. Some of you have a choice between two people as well. You have to make a decision. It's telling you to just kind of take a little break and just, um, you know, take a rest here and make a decision. But I feel like there's this beautiful epiphany and it's in the heart of the reading. Uh, Ace of Pentacles coming in fast. Now, this could be somebody who wants to heal a situation with you or, um, you know, because they're, they're releasing something here and they're finding that balance by pulling back and seeing things different. They want something different. Uh, this is someone who's, there's, there's just this lack, this feeling like they're not good enough, didn't have enough money, um, you know, this kind of energy. There's something lacking in their life. They're lonely. This person may have had a very lonely childhood too. They may have been the youngest and didn't get a whole lot of attention or the youngest person got all the attention and they were older and didn't get any. It goes that way. That's why I feel there's something with that with this person. There's going to be a lot of different scenarios. Tell me about this tower. What is this tower about? Yeah, see, purging and healing, sudden release. Somebody's suddenly releasing something. Uh, and it's going to go in their favor. And they want if they want things to go in their favor, they have to. They have to be a good partner. They got to be reliable. Uh, so this person's letting go of something here. Uh, habits, patterns. Maybe this person was taught very young to be a bit manipulative, or maybe they were manipulated when they were young. Something happened. Okay, it's finished. It's healed. It's done. Uh, this person sees your value and they see your worth. This is someone who's learning to love themselves first. Lo learning to love themselves again. Um, I don't know what's happened, whatever it is, it wasn't good, but it's definitely, um, something that's better, much, much better too. So this could be yourself, Sag, on the fence. Okay. Um, maybe you have a choice between two, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Emperor energy and the King of Pentacles energy. You may have to make a choice. And this is about two people being on the same page, the same path, uh, at the same time. So let's see, what is this path here with this choice? This is a life path, a life decision. Yeah, this is a waiting, kind of just waiting to see how things go. Um, some of you with one person, I feel the ship has sailed. It's over. Yeah, I can see that you have a new offer. But this, if you got a new person coming in, oh my gosh, whatever it is you're waiting for is coming towards you. If you have any baggage from your past, now's the time to release it and let it go. OK, there's this is about respecting yourself, loving yourself. Uh, someone does see your worth and value. And I do feel this is beautiful energy. There's nothing better than when someone learns to take their. I feel like it's more of a guarded defensive energy or a habit of pushing people away uh, because they lack. They don't feel very good about themselves because of something that happened to them. Uh, and they are looking at that. And it's finished, okay? But some of you are already healing. You've released this person. You have a person coming in. Now, it could be that this realization where they realize um, they need to come towards you and communicate. This is the, you know, someone's wish and hopes and dreams come true. Uh, maybe you were hoping for somebody to, you know, kind of wake up and realize they needed to let go. They needed to heal and release a lot of negativity in their life. Um, you know, it's a healing energy. But I actually feel some of you have a new person. Some of you, it's that person coming in. Okay, so it's going to go either way. So I'm going to bring out a couple of these cards here. Let's see. This is going to be in the heart of the reading over that Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that value, that worth. You're going to, this is going to be a communication. Okay, this is going to be a, a communication where you look at it very carefully at the details to see if, uh, this person, you, you know, the, they communicate the way they should. They value. They see your worth. Uh, they, it's, a, it's an energy of respect. Uh, it's about two people valuing each other, showing each other their worth, that they care about each other. Okay? And that's what this is about in the heart. So here's the beloved. Uh, this heart's aflame here. There's a lot of fire, a lot of passion. This is radical acceptance. Uh, some of you are accepting something, or this is somebody accepting something about themselves. So there's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So some of you may just realize, too, you may come to the realization this person is, uh, they just have lack. Um, 
they're just not right. You may be the one, Sag, with that temperance pulling back and seeing this person's just not right for you. Something isn't right. Okay, so a lot of you will take this other energy that's coming in. Now, there could be a little bit of a time frame uh, in there. There could be a little bit of a pause and a break before this other person comes in. Unmarked trail, revelation. Yeah, see, this is somebody having a revelation with the unmarked trail. Uh, look at that energy. It's about a whole new path. Beautiful energy. Yeah, somebody is a... I wonder if somebody here has actually realized that... Because uh, I actually, for some of you, I feel this person's realizing it's too late. You're not waiting. You've moved on. Um, but I think you've got something beautiful. You have an opportunity here. Covenant, sacred contract. There it is. Yeah, so you've got an opportunity coming in. Contract negotiation. Now, this could be to do with work. Some of you may be workaholics, okay? Uh, and I can see that energy where you work. You always feel like you don't have enough money, but you do. Now, it could be this person who always felt they didn't have enough money. They're now kind of tempering that. They're looking back at their past. I feel there's some kind of reminiscing. Uh, there's, uh, I feel if you've got two people, there's a couple of people. One could be just a new crush wanting to date you or the other one's having that revelation uh, about their lack, always feeling like they're lacking money. They don't have enough. They're not good enough. It's never enough. So that's that devil energy, that obsession with work. Okay, and that's what I see there. In fact, I see two people who could be in that energy. <laughs> King and Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So there's this energy of resourcefulness. And a bold step forward. So this person, I do feel there's, this is interesting because I like the resourcefulness cards. This is someone who uses the tools they have provided to be resourceful. Uh, the horned cactus. Uh, this is also an energy. Uh, I also see it as, the, as like the uh, little bit of jealousy or something too. Uh, but it's about being resourceful, using the tools that you have provided. This is two people coming together to look out for each other. Two people building a legacy together. Two people who... Uh, have some same habits, both focused on money, finance. Uh, so I do see that energy as well. It's a lot going on here. Like I say, some of these readings, there's a lot going on. If you got a few people around you, you're, you know, you got your energy, your energy between two people and their energies. So we have the farther gate, a bold step forward. This is someone who's ready to take a bold step forward. They want things to go in their favor. They're coming in to offer up their feelings. Somebody's leveling up. Now, if you've been dating someone for a while, okay, maybe you're starting to feel a lack of confidence. They come in with lack, you know, you're starting to feel lonely. You're always waiting for this person. I do feel that they're going to, that cycle is going to end. They're going to take their guard down. Now, it's possible you may um, have to, you may push this person away and decide to go on another path. They're going to have that realization uh, that they're going to, they need to take a bold step forward. So uh, regardless, it's going in your favor. So let's grab some moon energy here. These moon signs, you can check these out, Google these. Uh, there's always a, some words of wisdom with these as well as um, the phases, okay? These are the moon phases. So let's put this in the heart of the reading. When, this, when are you getting this offer? So we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So there could be a Scorpio, okay? Somebody with Scorpio in their chart or they're just in that energy, uh, that's where there's that tower. That's that tower energy coming down, the revelation. It's time to work through the fear. Somebody lacked the confidence in themselves. Okay, so somebody who's, I feel like we got someone here's a bit of a worry ward or they stress about not having enough money. All they do is work and no play. That's what I feel. They, um, this person, it's time for something different. So, yeah, Saj, this could be yourself or this person too. But I see working through the fears, working through your fears, okay? And then we have balance. There it is, balance, spirituality, and practicality. That's that, um, using the resources wisely. Two people who are stable, reliable, look out for each other's best interest. Two people building, coming together to build something, you see? That's rebuilding of the tower. Uh, so that's an interesting one, too. Wow, this is some heavy stuff. So I do feel this person, it's about, this is a spiritual journey for this person. I see two fish swimming together. I see some Pisces energy for some of you. Two fish swimming together. Okay. 
So there's something here about the two of you coming together here, you and this person, whether it's a new person or a person that uh, you pushed away or they pushed you away or they were pushed away for someone and got obsessed with them. Take it as it resonates. I'm sure you, you may know the story. Uh, if you don't, um, it probably won't matter because that's likely the one that's going to end for those of you. Uh, so that working through the fears is interesting. So let's grab another one. Where's this headed with the three of wands? Yeah, some of you, the ship has sailed with someone. You're on the fence. You have a choice, a life path. And I do think this person's at a, life, uh, at a time in their life where they're ready to um, take that step forward towards a committed relationship. So it could be just a whole lot of stress and worry for a whole lot of nothing. Okay, maybe you've taken a break, you've ended something, this person misses you, they're lonely, they're reminiscing about that devil energy, about their, um, I, I think you got a person who's a, bit, a, a workaholic, some of you, uh, to the point where it's actually unhealthy, that's all they do. Okay, so there was something lacking in the relationship. Uh, the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So the answers you need are coming, some kind of question, this person's coming forward, they're going to answer your questions. Uh, and I like this energy because the answers you need are coming. Something is coming to you. Whatever you're waiting for is coming. So interesting. Show the world the real you. New moon in Aquarius. This is about speaking your truth. All right. It's about taking off the mask. Uh, it could be yourself. It could be this person. But there's that Aquarius energy releasing something so things go in their favor. Baggage, whatever it is, things that needed to just let go that we're holding this person back. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Show the world the real you. You're going to get to see this real person. Uh, I feel this person's very generous, emotionally mature, available, grounded, practical, and stable, someone you can rely on. They're going to show you how reliable they are. They're going to show you love. They're going to offer up that cup of love. This is an opportunity that could go in your favor. It's up to you to decide. You can end it. Uh, you may be on the fence and try to end it. If you have two people, you might just kind of wait to see how things go as well. <laughs> Everyone's on a different path, right? Uh-huh. Because I see that two of two of uh, wands at both places there. So a little bit on the fence here. Yeah. I'm going to pull out one more just because I love the messages. So let's see this Ace of Cups. Actually, forget that. Let's talk about this King of Pentacles, this stable, reliable person. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We have a power couple here. This is two people who like to spend time alone. They like to hang around the house and do things. They like to work around the home. They're always busy. These are people who put work into things that gives them something in their hand. Okay? Uh, if they have hobbies, uh, they get something from it, even if it's just emotional contentment. Okay, so these are two people who are quite the same. Uh, focused on money, finance, and career. Stable relationship, a partner. Yeah, don't let your pride get in the way, uh, the Leo moon. Don't listen to somebody who let their pride get in the way. They felt they didn't have enough money, or maybe they feel like they don't, but I'm seeing an emperor, uh, and I'm seeing that twice. Okay, so I think someone's leveled up. They feel more confident. I wonder if when this person came towards you, they were crazy about you, but uh, came in with lack, felt they weren't good enough because they didn't have enough money. Uh, maybe they felt you felt you that way, you know, felt that way about you or something. Uh, but I feel they're looking at things different. Regardless, this person sees you as a partner, okay? Uh, marriage material. So your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. So this is a test, okay? This is going to be a test uh, to see. Okay, how this person comes in. So I do feel you may just wait and see how things go. Uh, I don't feel some of you, if you have another person around you, I feel like you're just going to wait to see what happens because this other person is healing as well, or not as well. This other person's coming in stable. They're giving you a solid opportunity. Uh, and I do feel like you're going to heal. You're healing. You're releasing something yourself, uh, probably this person. And uh, ready to move forward. So first quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. So this is a test. Okay, sort of see how things go. A test run. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So there is an Aries energy or a Scorpio energy here. Um, very interesting. Or you both have those signs in your charts. 
Uh, okay, Sag, this is lovely. Uh, someone's about to take action. They're going to push through here. Uh, coming in emotionally mature, available. There's love here. Uh, cup runneth over. This is an opportunity. So I feel like you have a couple opportunities and it's telling you um, that you can just wait to see how things go. Um, I do think there's going to be a little bit of a test. Uh, that's that temperance. Sometimes it's a test. Okay. <laughs> so very nice. All right. I wish you guys the best. I'm going to grab a couple of chimes. Charms. I want to say chimes. A couple of charms. So we have a cat. Okay, this person may have a cat. Do you both like cats? Yeah, I, the king and queen of pentacles are a lot of times cat people. No doubt about it. Not always, but they like pets. So they must. They have to like pets. I see a seashell, a key, and a fairy. So this is nice. This is good luck. It's a good omen. Okay, so interesting enough. Yeah. a little bit of a fairy tale the key the key to success here is to speak the truth and then there's a tale a whale tale so watch out for that energy okay uh, so, so i feel some of you they got a story someone's got a story to tell here uh, it's a little bit of a tale okay so yeah that's interesting take it as it resonates but i do see a seashell I see a whale, so something about the ocean, the sea, emotions, okay, uh, as well. And I see a cat and a fairy and a key. So I'll grab a couple letters. Oops, out oh, with that came a little bird, so there is a communication coming in, some kind of communication. Uh, I see an L, a Q, always the Q, right on Q, that's what always pops into my head, an H. Grab one more. Oh, it gave me two, a C and an A. All right. So, wow. All right, you guys. Food for thought. Give it time to play out. Think about it. Don't make a rash decision. All right. Take care and we'll see you soon.